COVID-19 cases are surging in the community. And due to the high number of cases, plus the number of people in the hospital with COVID-19, the state has put Clackamas County back into the extreme risk category starting this Friday, April 30th. Joining us today is Dr. Sarah Present, who will pro provide us an update on the cases of COVID-19 in Clackamas County. So we meet the criteria to move into the extreme risk category. What more can you say about the cases happening in the county? What I can say is that we are back to case counts that we haven't seen since our surge in the winter. So November to January was the only other time in this pandemic that we have seen case counts this high. Unfortunately, this comes as many of us were hoping that we were on the tail end of this pandemic. We hoped that vaccines, continued precautions, and more would help us reopen businesses and the activities that we love to do. But we're going in the wrong direction. We have seen the impact that restrictions have had in the past on saving hospital capacity and saving lives. And unfortunately, we've hit a point that we need to reinstitute those extreme risk precautions. Are there certain places or businesses where the outbreaks are occurring? You know, outbreaks and spread of the disease is happening across the board. Honestly, when we get into surges like this, it's actually harder for our contact investigation team to identify all the pathways of spread. But we know that it's happening throughout the county in many different locations. We do continue to see spread in social gatherings and in places where people are gathering together without, without masking or taking other social distancing precautions, and in particularly among those who are not yet vaccinated. One of the criteria that moves us into extreme risk is hospital capacity. And if the hospital capacity gets over 300 COVID patients across the state, that's one of the triggers to put us into extreme risk. What do you know about the patients that are currently um, in the hospital for COVID-19? Yes, so we have had a big increase in hospitalizations, uh, over a 30% increase in the last week, which does put us in that category of needing to go back into extreme risk precautions. I can say one, say one place we've seen improvement in cases and hospitalizations is in our older adults and long-term care facility residents, the majority of whom have been vaccinated at this point. However, the dominant variant strain that's in Oregon right now, the B117 or the UK variant, is more infectious and likely to cause more severe symptoms across age groups than prior strains we've seen. I can tell you that our hospitals are starting to feel the strain of increased admissions and that those people who are being hospitalized are younger and they have fewer underlying conditions than people in the past uh, aspects of this pandemic. We are really seeing that this disease can continue to cause severe and lasting symptoms in anyone, regardless of age or underlying condition. Can you tell us more about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? It's allowed for use again. So why should people feel comfortable taking the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? Excellent question. I have to say that the identification of this very rare complication of severe blood clotting disorder um, and the thorough review that's been done before restarting the use of the J&J &J vaccine is really a testament to how our vaccine safety system works well. Um, potential problems were identified, evaluated, and addressed. And uh, the, it has been found um, across the board that, that the benefits of controlling the spread of COVID-19, which is a disease with such high severity and death rate that it affects everyone's daily life and livelihood at this point, the benefits of controlling this outweigh the very ser serious but very rare complication of that particular type of clotting disorder. So I would say that people with questions about your particular individual risk and your vaccine options should discuss with your healthcare provider. But overall, I agree with the FDA and the CDC that any vaccine we have available now is effective and it is safe. And I really plead to everyone who's eligible in our community to get vaccinated with the vaccine that's avail to, available to you as soon as you can, so that we can control this pandemic, reopen our businesses and protect our neighbors and loved ones. Thank you for that great information, Dr. Present. It was very helpful. You can sign up for a vaccine by visiting getvaccinated.oregon.gov by visiting our website or calling us if you need help setting up your vaccination appointment. Appointments are available at the Convention Center and the Portland Airport, but we also have local options. 
Thank you for joining us. Please stay safe and we'll see you soon.